Hi there, Gentleman Jack again. Now Luna re-entered the motor caravan orbit last year with the Vacanza. We've already reviewed that. Next one up in Space Race is this Landstar. Now with my usual cussedness, we'll start at the back because I think this is a fantastic lounge. Six foot three sofas, inward facing. Just back up to the view and open the doors. And they've got another trick up their sleeves. Two instantly available single beds and you can push them together, slide the bases together, the cushions drop, makes an all over double. King size, obviously. Moving forward along the accommodation, we have the kitchen split either side of the aisle, a good fridge here at a sensible height, a three burner gas hob, combi oven grill, inset sink, and a mind smarter than yours, rather elegant monoblock mix attack. Opposite the end of the kitchen, is the washroom. It's actually two rooms. In one, there's the electric flush cassette loo, a nice vanity basin with plenty of storage for toiletries, and a separate walk-in shower. I'm now ensconced in the best seat in the house. These cab seats are ergonomically designed, and Luna have put a seat swivel in so it turns around and faces the action. I've got an occasional table here, and the great outside there. Any chance of a gin and tonic? So, time's tight, so I better get round to the USP of the Landstar. It's all summed up by the badge on the bonnet. It's on a premium product, the Mercedes Sprinter. Rear wheel drive, too. OK, let's sum this up. What we've got is a brilliant base vehicle, lovely conversion. So, how much do you think? 65,000? 70? Actually, it's a five or under 50 grand x work. Excellent value for money. Not an inconsiderable sum but it stacks up well against the competition. I, for one, are pleased that Luna's back big time. 